All right, our next guest is weighing in on National Passenger Safety Week. Let's welcome Candace Leitner. She's the founder of We Save Lives. Candace, good morning. Good to see you today. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. Now, we hear about the terrible tolls of traffic fatalities. How many um, are passengers? Well, it depends upon the state uh, in terms of what the number of passengers are. And I'm sorry, I don't have uh, Virginia's number handy. Real quick, I can get it in about two seconds. But um, the issue is not so much how many are passengers, but how many passengers can save their own life by speaking up and not only save their own life, but save the life of the driver. Yeah, yeah. What's the key message you want to get out during National Passenger Safety Week? Well, for me, there are several key messengers. One is I've met with a number of parents, unfortunately, whose uh, teenagers, in this case, teenagers died as passengers. And in each case, the parent would say to me, I wish I had known this kid didn't have a driver's license, the driver, or I wish I had known that this driver was normally a reckless driver, or I wish I had known this, or I wish I had known that. And so the first thing that we emphasize is parents, do you need to ask questions about the driver of the car that your passenger, your, your child is going to be in? The second thing is something called the Courage to Intervene Promise, which is on our website. And this is something that young people can sign that doesn't say, I will not drive drunk or drugged. It says, I will do everything I can to keep my friends, relatives, neighbors, family from driving drunk, drugged, or distracted. And we like that because it puts peer pressure on peers um, not to behave in such a dangerous way. And the third thing is, and the thing that I find most um, frustrating, when I talk to young people and I say, how many of you have ridden in the car with somebody who's drunk? And I'm telling you, the majority will raise their hands or some, how many of you will ride in the car with somebody who's on their cell phone or their Bluetooth? and they'll raise their hands is why they don't speak up. So we want to empower people to love themselves enough to speak up and say, hey, I'll take that call for you. You don't need to take that call or not to get in the car if you think somebody is driving impaired. Yeah, what do parents need to tell their kids about speaking up? Well, I think be when you go into driver's training, when your child is getting ready to get into driver's training, I think parent education is critical and not just on how to drive, but on how to protect themselves when they get in the car with somebody who's dangerous. But this isn't this isn't just teenagers because sometimes parents will let their children, younger children, get in the car with someone that they really don't know how well they drive. So parents need to emphasize to their children, you need to speak up, speak up call me. If you're in a situation in which you feel uncomfortable, call me and I will come get you. Awesome. Candace, where can we get more info from you? Uh, is there a website or anything? Yes, you can go to wesavelives.org and we have information there. And you can go to Passenger Safety Week campaign. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.